Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer. Um, yes, <laughs> I was going to do this outside, but there are people working and it's really loud. So uh, to bring it inside, just wanted to um, start our time off today with a scripture reading and a song and a prayer. Um, I hope you are doing well. So please let me know you are here and that you can hear me and see me and that way. I know that this is actually happening. Um, yeah, so welcome, welcome to my day for, I went it today to be outside, I really did, but there's a lot of noise. <laughs> All right, today's prayer, um, this morning, I, so in the morning times, sometimes I will listen to, hi, Mike, <laughs> in the morning times, sometimes I will listen to uh, the news, it's not the first thing I like to hear, but it's on a schedule um, that just comes up at like seven. And yeah, sometimes what listening to the news, <laughs> watching it, whatever, can be a little disheartening. And um, it's hard sometimes. Not always, but it's hard sometimes to decipher truth and what you understand, I guess, and what is being shared, you know? I think just because we are inundated with so much information, so many different ideologies, and sometimes it's hard for us to like parse through some things that is being shared. Um, so I wanted to share this scripture. I'm cautious about sharing it though. I just want a little disclaimer um, because I have heard it used in ways to say, hey, don't listen to this fact or this thing, right? Because you can't trust me in. But I wanna highlight the part that I think is helpful maybe. Um, I know that sometimes we can read scripture verses out of context and in as like a way to justify or understand things. And I'm a little careful about that. This one, I just want to kind of hone in on something in particular. Okay. <laughs> so I hope that that's okay. Um, could you let me know if you can hear and see me? Um, hi, Lynn. I'm just not sure because it seems like I am live and I am here, but I've done this so many times where it doesn't show up that I'm there, and that's very frustrating. <laughs> um, but let me, I'm gonna check one second. Okay, great. Thank you, Gail. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. So this is a scripture reading. It's from First John. You don't usually don't go to First John much, but here's what it reads: This is the promise that He Himself gave us eternal life. I write these things to you about those who are tempting to deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from Him remains on you and you don't need anyone to teach you the truth. But since his anointing teaches you about all things, it's true and not a lie. Remain in relationship to him, just as he taught you. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all, I hear me. One second. If you can give me a second, I hear someone at my door. That's really weird.
Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, yes. So I bring this, I read this today and I thought about it and I don't want it to make a zero sum assumption. But what I do appreciate about it is that this idea of knowing the truth and hearing from multiple voices and things around you is not a new thing. It's something that has been happening for generations, for years, right? Um, and I do think there's something to um, the reception of this anointing from God and um, that there's truth that is within us and also truth around us, right? And to be careful about the things that we consider truth. Oh, yes. I'm very, I'm just being mindful of my words. I hope I'm making sense. Um, the thing that really resonates, um, the anointing part is the thing that <laughs> I wanted to highlight today um, this idea of being anointed um, and what that means and the implications and the promise of, of a life eternal um, is the, the focus here, right? Um, so I wanted to offer a sort of prayer of anointing, if you will. Um, and again, I'm a little cautious about what that means, but for today, perhaps that can mean um, a settling in our spirits, um, a sense of knowing and trusting in God for the truth, right? Um, and, and the reception of guidance that leads us to what this life eternal looks like for all people, for the world for God's creation. It seems a little vague, but I'm being intentional about that um, because um, I want us to just be open to what that means. Um, I think there's a lot of posturing, if you will, and Yes, <laughs> of what is truth. And I wonder what it looks like to, to wonder in the anointing of God's love, to be open to that. So we're going to leave that there. <laughs> and uh, just wanted to share that with you. I'll place it up again so you guys can take a look. And then I'll sing a song and say a prayer. And hopefully that made some semblance of sense today. Um, feel like a little bit of a rambling, but that's okay. That's, I'm just being who I am. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna share this real quick so you guys can read it for yourselves and then I'll start with the song, okay? All right, today's song is, I've done this one before, I believe. It's called Anointing Follow Me. Um, it's a really beautiful one. I want this to be kind of like the grounding aspect of our prayer today. So I will sing that and then I will just go into a prayer real quick and that will be our time together. All right, thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> Fall on me, anointing. 
fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Oh God, we are so grateful um, for your anointing of wisdom and truth, especially in the midst of so many voices, so many things we hear on a daily, um, so many things to weed through and find our ways through. We ask that you will continue to lead us in the way of truth towards the reality of life eternal. We ask that um, we live into this truth of your love and compassion in this world, of um, the call to love and care for our neighbor, the truth of healing promised through you, the truth of joy, and a spirit of discernment that um, we would embrace those things in this time and place and that we would be open to your guidance in these very troubling times it seems um, sparks of goodness coming in but also just so much to um, that we consume and so much that we are a part of that is really hard sometimes. So we ask for your anointing to please fall deeply within our spirits and in our minds that we may have an openness to what you would have us do in these moments and what you would have us, have us to understand um, and to know. And that we would see all of the complexities for what they are and be open uh, to perhaps sometimes a change of heart, but also um, an affirmation where we see goodness and kindness in our world. Um, we ask that you be with those um, in the turmoil in our world, those um, people who are living through war and um, also living through some pretty hard times um, of injustice, that your anointing would fall in those places, um, not just for peace, but for justice and for what is righteous. Um, yeah, so thank you for this moment in time where we get to gather, we get to hear um, perhaps some encouraging words, perhaps some affirming words, some challenging words as well. Um, and that we would be open to what that means for us in our day, in our time. Thank you for making it through this mid part of our week. And I ask that you be with those in need of just a little more sunshine, a little more joy, or just to maintain that joy, that sunshine. Pray all of these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> Um, sorry.
sorry about that randomness, but listen, I heard somebody at the door. My cat's out there, so I just wanted to check. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for uh, just waiting on that. But um, I pray peace for you for the rest of this week, and uh, I will see you next week. Pastor Mike will be with you on Friday. He's a blessings. Bye, y'all.